time to get deals done. Why the hurry? We've been linked to Telemans and Jesus. They say to be some credibility to those links. Yes, but these players want to wait a little bit. And it's just normal. Odega made us wait last season. Have you guys forgotten? We wanted Odega by all means, but we had to wait a little bit. Like, can you just chill? It's just barely four days into the transfer window. Share yeah, we told you alone. Share yeah, we. I guess okay. <laughs> no, it's barely four free. I don't care that we need just sign for Liverpool. Shout out to them, kudos to them. How long just signed for, for for Manchester City? They've been chasing for 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 almost a year, and there's there's a release clause to it, and his father plays for played. Hi guys, welcome to Skyway 304. If you guys are new, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and turn the notification bell. Once again, like I said, if you're new to this channel, Skyway 304, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and turn the notification bell. We're going to be talking about the meltdown that happened all over social media regarding sports signing big summer today. I couldn't stop laughing hysterically. Like they, I could not believe what was going on. It's like majority some I can't say majority of Arsenal fans because online fans do not reflect the general mode of most Arsenal fans. No, that's a false impression. But why were they going through a meltdown? There's a loud minority of what I'll call passion rangers who think they have more passion. They are more entitled to whatever Arsenal has to do. They know more than Mikel Arteta. They know more than Edu. They are no more than the Crown case. That they think their op opinion is facts. They think their unguided, misguided, or uneducated opinion should stand the test of time. This is ridiculous. Like I do not understand the opera. I don't. I did not understand the crying, the whining, the whinging of these fans today. I woke up and like I was like, what's going on? On my way to work, driving to work, I'm I'm hearing all sorts of YouTube channels castigating at Teta, casting as passion on, on uh, Edu and the Cron case. Oh, we missed out on Besuma just for 25 million pounds. Well, I've gotten him, he will solidify our midfield. And I'm looking like we were never actively cutting Besuma. We were not act we we're not in for him. Yes, there might be a bit of interest. He's a good player. I'm not going to take that out. He's a good player. But are we in for Besuma? No. Do we need him? No. This is ridiculous. We have Pate in that position. We have El Neni, And we have the Joe Lokonga that is being bred. Like, I do not understand why we should add the Besuma to it. Why? Oh, because you think we should get every and all player. This, was, this is similar to what happened last season. Do you guys remember the opera when? Uh, Aston Villa signed Buendia, and people were linking us to Buendia. I don't know that was interest, but Arsenal was not keen on Buendia, we we're keen on Odega. This, this, this is like what happened last season. Odega came in for six months, went back to Real Madrid. We wanted him, we had to be patient, we had to be patient to get him. And yes, they were linked to be to, to, to Buendia. Arsenal looked at him, but Arsenal were not keen on getting him because we wanted our first choice. Who was Odega? But yet, when he went to Aston Villa, there was a meltdown. People were insulting Arteta, Edu, and I do not get this terrible habit of entitled Arsenal, like I said, passion rangers go on, go on, 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 the, on the internet and become nuisance to the club. They do not represent the vast majority of Arsenal fans. They do not. Their opinion do not and will not represent the vast majority of sane Arsenal fans. Like I said, everyone is entitled to opinion. You, you, you are entitled. You can criticize the club, but make it objectively. Like the transfer window has officially opened just for four days. The transfer window closes September 1st. There's still enough time to get deals done. Why the hurry? 
with elected elements and Jesus, they say to be some credibility to those links, yes, but these players want to wait a little bit and it's just normal. Odega made us wait last season. Have you guys forgotten? We wanted Odega by all means, but we had to wait a little bit. Like, can you just chill? It's just barely four days into the transfer window. Share yeah, with all your loan. Share yeah, with you. I guess okay. <laughs> no, it's barely four free. I don't care that we need just sign for Liverpool. Shout out to them. Kudos to them. How long just signed for, for for Manchester City? They've been chasing for 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 almost a year, and there's there's a release clause to it. And his father plays for played played. For Man City, I understand the relationship and it's gotten done. We are trying to get our own transfers too, but it's going to take a bit of time. Yes, it's disappointing. We don't have Champions League, which is making it a bit of a delay. But Arsenal are set on their target and they want their first choice. And they're trying to get their first choice. Be patient. If you're not patient, go support Sport, go support Man City, go support Liverpool. Nobody's holding you down. You can go. You don't have to stay in. I'm going to cast aspersions all the time. You don't get your answer. Who told you, love, some of you, who told you your opinion is gold? A few subscribers are getting to your head. You think you know more than Edwin, less of Arteta, because we cannot have cameras and microphone and the, the and, and the media space and deregulated. We can all say all sorts of bollocks, all in the name of opinion, even though it's misguided, even though it's untrue. Like, I understand you can criticize the club. If, are they done? Fantastic all through. No, they've had their own faults. But the funny thing that when Arsenal does great things, nobody talks about it. But when they do a bit of it of the otherwise, you guys are here to inflict it. You are you guys are here to, 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 to make it bigger than what it is. Like calm the F down. It's just four days to the transfer window. There is still time to get deals done. It's not even precision yet. It is it's not even precision yet. Why why the hurry? It's like a lot of you are jobless. You're raising your anxiety level for no just cause. Michael is at the beach having fun, relaxing, getting a turn, a turn rather, enjoying himself, relaxing after a, a tedious season. Like, do not get yourself apprehensive over this thing. The transform the just barely open. There's enough time to get deals done. Enough time to get do. Don't get riled by the banters of rival fans. It's part of the game. You should know that by now. Banter is part of the game. If you can give it, you should be able to take it. Like, see, let's calm down. Mikel Arteta, Edu have their, their targets, their first choice, and they want to make sure they say to the log logical conclusion. They're trying to get in Jesus. And we're going to be able to wait. It's unfortunately, we don't have Champions League. And the player will have to wait a little bit. Maybe you're trying to get more money from the deal or you're trying to check other options. But we know that he wants to stay in the Premier League. We know he has a relationship with Ateta and Edu. So let's calm down. It's just four days. And like I said, I'm sure he will still sign for us now. Tillerman looks like he's moving. He's getting legs. Now, today is the end of the Nations League nonsense they've been playing. Now, Tillerman's can actually focus how he, he can start his future, whether he's going to move to us now or not. But it looks like he's gaining momentum that the deal is going to be done as soon as possible. So let's calm down. See, Besuma is not the type of profile we are looking for. Tileman and Besuma are different types of midfielders. We are looking for an offensive eight. Besuma is a defensive midfielder. Yes, he can win the ball, he's tenacious, but his passing is poor. The funny thing is that you as now fans are shouting you want uh Besuma. When we get him, it doesn't play stylistically the way you want. You will be the first people to write him up, to, to cast aspersion on him, to, to rip him apart. That's the hypocrisy of you loud minorities, these passion rangers. You will be the first people to, to, to rip him off. We want a forward-thinking offensive eight, which is still a man. It's a different profile compared to Besuma. So why should we get someone we do not need? Just because sports are getting in, we should go get him because sports are getting him. Is that how you guys operate? <laughs> that is it. It's like going to a to going to a mall and you forget to buy what you need and give for what you want because you saw what you want and you forget about what you need and you spend your resources on what you want, not on 
what you need. That is ridiculous. That is that is senselessness. Like I guess tripping. Why we will go for a player we don't need the the profile of the player we need in a Eurotelemans in an offensive eight, not a defensive midfielder like uh, Besuma. We have a party which is a much much better player in my opinion than Besuma. Okay. You get to say uh, Patti is injury prone, from which I don't subscribe to. Okay, let's give, let me give the argument that maybe Patti is injury prone. We have uh, uh, Elneny, he might not be as good as uh, Besuma, but he can do a job. And we have the young Lokonga that I think will get game time this time because we have Europa League. There are more games to go around. It will improve. Why should we mortgage the the, the, the future of a, of a player like Lokonga that we're investing heavily in? It's not going to happen. Like you don't, you don't sign players for the sake of signing. I subscribe to signing better players to make your squad better. But you cannot sign a position where you have two players there. It, that doesn't make sense. We do not have infinite resources. We have a budget and limited resources. The resources should be spent on the other side that we need, not on wants because sports are interested. Because as sports buying, them. and let's not forget, this is a player that has off pitch. Of the field issues, he has a litigation that is still pending. We don't know what's going on with that. We know Arsenal do not like to sign players that have dodgy reputations off the pitch. We do not like to get involved in that. Sports will take uh, a gamble on that. F- 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 uh, shout out to them for taking a gamble on that. But Arsenal are known not to take that kind of gamble. They're not to take that kind of gamble. And for the price, he's sold, he sold for that cheap because he has one year left on his contract, number one. And number two, the, the litigation he has. So Brighton are trying to get rid of him, get rid of him as quick as possible, get uh, the resources they can get, and let him go. Like, guys, come on, let's be sensible. Like I said, I'm not saying Bisma is not a good player, but he is not what we need. It might be what we want, but like I said, he is not what we need. If you disagree with me, leave it in the comment section. Leave it respectfully. We don't have to trade insults. Be respectful. Leave it in the comment section if you disagree. Soccer with 304. Like if you uh, like the video. Subscribe if you if you enjoy the content and you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next video.